Hey everybody, this week on Fun in the Sun Coast, I've got a different Jensen. That sounds like fun. Welcome back to Fun in the Sun Coast. My name is Matt. I'm Paul Jensen. And we're at the Cove restaurant in Inverness. Yes, we are. Now, what happened a few months ago, you got together with a gentleman named Kemper. Yes, I did. Yeah. Kemper and what happened? Uh, they had hired me on to be a general manager here and come in and make the, the necessary changes that needed to be done to make the Cove great again. When you got here the first time, it didn't look like this. I, what... can, I can absolutely guarantee you it did not look like this. Uh, when I came in, everything was basically still the same. Uh, it was left a little bit vacant for about three weeks, four weeks. Uh, we came in and uh, took all the tables out, took everything apart. Uh, brand new epoxy flooring. Uh, came in with a company called Brand Music, put in a Bose 301 speaker sound system. Uh, the newest touch tunes you can have. We have dart boards. Uh, we went from the five beers on tap to 22. Yeah, hold uh, on now, slow down. Slow down a little bit, Paul Johnson. <laughs> That's back there, the tap system. Yes. Yep. You don't just have beer. How many beers are back there? I have 22 beers on 22, tap. 22, everybody. Okay. And you don't just have beer, you have wine on tap. Yes, we have uh, two white wines and two red wines that we actually run out of kegs. Uh, what it is is it's, we're able to use it because it runs through full nitrogen, mm -hmm. uh, which means nothing really mixes with the wine. Right. So we're able to keep it stable in a keg for about a year. And you also have the what? The nitrous system does the... Guinness and we, yeah, we have a Guinness. Uh, the Guinness one is a mix of 75-25 um, CO2 and nitrogen that runs the uh, the Guinness keg. Okay. Um, that's going to be the only only beer we have on for that. Uh, we have all of the cop beers uh, at the moment. We have three out of the four. Uh, we have Gooseneck. We have a, a, a line of domestics. We still have PBR and Natty Light on draft, um, but everything served out of a frozen mason jar. Uh, domestics are 22 ounce beers. It's it's great. It really is. Okay, and the, some of the stuff I think people are going to want to know about the Covas. Is it the same as the old days? And some of it's like, what's this stuff? Yes. Um, at every table you come onto, we have Debbie sauce right here. Um, I shouldn't have to really explain this to probably 95% of you. Um, this is a sauce that everyone uh, is used to having here. We have many menu items now that actually have it on it. Uh, we have a Debbie Yardbird chicken sandwich that has it. Obviously, the Debbie wings. Um, so it's, people are going to come back in here, and they're going to be excited to know that the wing they're a little different because a different supplier, yeah. but they're going to find the same wings that they used to have in the old Cove and the new old Cove. The wings are coming through actually Cisco, so the the ones we got before, um, but it's a lot larger wing. Mm -hmm. uh, so you'll notice that uh, when you when you're eating them and you and you have them in, they're large. You get a great value. Uh, for the size of wing you do for the price. So we're really, really excited to work with it. And to be honest, we've gone through thousands upon thousands the first week. <laughs> One of the items that you brought back from the old cove was the big ass burger. Yes. <laughs> okay. And so what, is that pretty much, I guess it's a new spin on the big ass burger? It's, but the, it's, it's the same mix. Okay. It's the same mix of meat. Uh, it's a little bit bigger. Mm -hmm. uh, but then we knew that everyone wanted so another the burger. So the ass has gotten bigger. The ass has gotten bigger. <laughs> but in case you can't eat the full, the full big ass, we have a burger now, the half ass. Okay. So now you can, yeah. you know, you can slim it down a little bit. I don't eat the half ass, but I just go all the way. Well, I care about not having a heart attack. So I'm going to be you know, interested in the half ass burger. Yeah. So the Cove is back. Uh, it looks great in here. The uh, everything looks awesome, and I'm excited to come in here and have some wings as soon yeah. as the, the lines die down. Because I don't <laughs> exactly. got a two hour wait. I mean, yeah. whoa! But that's awesome. That's why everyone's so excited, and everyone that knows the a lot of people have heard of the Cove and now get yeah. to come here. And those of us like you that grew up and you're you're from here, yeah. that uh, you got to get this place back. So yeah. if you've heard of the Cove or you haven't, you want to come check it out. Come on down. Yeah. Don't come on Monday. Don't come on Monday. You can, but you're going to be disappointed. <laughs> yeah, you'll be bummed out. People keep coming up to the door, and Paul goes over and tells them, sorry, we're closed. Exactly. So anyways, yeah, Paul, thanks for coming. By the way, I didn't say this at the top. Here's a picture of Paul and his younger brother, Jeremy, being in a commercial I made when they were little boys, and I was brand new in the business. Here it is, Summit Pools. They're jumping That's in. It. So thanks a lot for watching the show. Fun in the Sun Coast. We'll see you next week. We will be back at the Bowery Theater soon. And, thanks uh, for having us. Yeah, thanks. We'll see you at the Cove. So come on out. Thanks, thanks very you. much. See you see next you time on the Sundays. Okay.